While I was in my undergrad degree, I'd, people would ask me, what are you studying? And I'd tell them, industrial hygiene. And 90% of the time, I'd either get a blank stare, or they'd say, oh, you work on people's teeth. So I think I've had one instance where someone actually knew what industrial hygiene was. Think of industrial hygiene as the art and science of the anticipation, recognition, evaluation, and controls of workplace hazards. A way to think about it um, that a professor first told me in an introductory industrial hygiene course is that say there's a cliff and at the bottom of the cliff you have physicians and doctors that are treating people that have fallen off the cliff. Well, what an industrial hygienist gets to do is perhaps put up warning signs or build a fence at the top of the cliff and it's very much prevention based. I did find out that UAB had a really good industrial hygiene program and they also are part of an ERC where they get funding through NIOSH. So they do fund you throughout your schooling which helps out quite a bit. I chose IH because uh, it's a great blend of uh, chemistry and engineering and uh, scientific intrigue. And, uh, but it has a practical application of protecting employees in making uh, processes safer. I have a really big love for science. I was a biology major for a long time and I just realized I didn't really want to be working in the lab forever and so I was trying to find a mix between science and people um, because I just love working with people and I love really making a difference in someone's life and I feel like the industrial hygiene gives you that option because you get a chance to work with people on a daily basis as well as provide them a service of protecting them from things in the environment and their workplace that can potentially harm them. Um, and I think it provides a really good opportunity to build relationships and to provide a service to the public. This is my research experiment. I've got some uh, composite materials in my chamber and I'm collecting air samples to measure the styrene emissions from those materials to see if they might pose an adverse health hazard to workers or even to um, bus drivers, airline pilots, whatever um, applications these materials might be used in. Coming out of a master's program, uh, you can get um, upper 60s to 70s all the way to um, like $100,000 a year, which is remarkable. That's what we all kind of hope for. I think that the market for industrial hygienists is very good right now. I see uh, uh, opportunities in hiring in this field, even in this depressed economy. It's a great program here. The professors are all very helpful. They really want to push you towards your goal and getting your degree here at UAB.